Hey guys, hey girls, hey boys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Madi, also known as Mari Bajari here on YouTube. Hello, welcome to my channel. I kind of said that fast, Mari Bajari. I had a question, like someone commented like, what is she saying after, hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. It's Mari Bajari, Mari Bajari, but I go by Madi. It just sounds better with Mari Bajari, if anyone want to know that but yeah for today's video I am going to be doing a summer sweat proof makeup look so if you guys are looking for some tips on how to make your makeup last during some hot weather then this is the video for you so if you guys are interested to see what products I use how I do this makeup look right here then I suggest you keep on watching but before we start this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you're notified every single time your girl posts and without further ado let's get right into today's video <laughs> Alright you guys, so we are doing a sweat proof makeup look, so we're just going to jump right into it. We're using lots of matte products to make sure this face stays on all day because during the heat it's no joke when having makeup on. And I've been on a few vacations where I've had to improvise with some makeup to make sure it lasts because I like to be full glam, especially on vacay looking cute in some pictures, you know? Um, don't get me wrong, I do love me some lightweight makeup, but today is gonna be for those who want like a full glam, but wanna make sure the makeup stays on the whole time. So I already went ahead and did my brows off camera. Um, I was just playing with some new products. Well, not new, I've had them, but a little different than I, what I, I usually would do. Um, so I needed to get my brows laminated like ASAP, but the girl who does my brows is completely booked and I'm sad, but I just missed the laminated look. So I went in with the Got To Be Glued um, hair gel and I put it on my brows. I try not to do this too often because I don't think that's good for your brows. I'm probably going to make them... It'll probably make them fall off if I use it every single day, so I'm not going to be doing it every day, but today I wanted that laminated look, so I did that. It took a little bit of time, and it's not my favorite because the glue does get kind of thick, so if I put a little bit too much and I go in with some brow product, it kind of just chunks it all together, so it was a little bit of a process. But anyways, besides that, let's just jump right into the face. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna wanna use some matte products just to make sure everything stays on because if you do get some dewy products and it's gonna be like your skin's gonna be pretty dewy with the sweat, I do not recommend doing that. So I recommend going in with some like matte products so when your face does start to get sweaty, it'll automatically give you that dewy look because dewy products and dewy weather and sweat just don't go together. So I'm going to start off with this primer. This is the um, Beauty Creations Flawless um, Primer Stick, the matte one. And I'm gonna just start by putting this all over the face. But mostly target the areas that um, gets like the most oily. So for me, it's like the T-zone. And I'm just gonna like pat it in with my hand. And this stuff smells so freaking bomb. I don't know what their scent is, but ugh, I love it so much. Okay, I think I want more of a summery background. I'm not really feeling that purple. What color should we do? Right there, like a hot pink. Yeah. Now moving to foundation, this is my go-to, my ride or die, my Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. If you need a matte foundation, this is literally the one. My go-to, I've been using this for probably like two years now. And I've tried other ones, but I just find myself coming back to this baby right here. So I'm in the shade Neutral, so if you would like to purchase one, I do have a discount code. I have it right here for you guys. Um, not sponsored, but I just really love this foundation. If you've been watching me, then you know that I use it all the time. So I'm just gonna start by applying it with my finger and then go in with the beauty sponge to blend it all out. Okay, so now that we have the foundation on, I'm gonna go in with some concealer. This is my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I went and repurchased this because I ran out of my Tarte Shape Tape. Um, and I forgot Sephora doesn't sell Tarte Shape Tape, Tarte Shape Tape, so I just picked up my, um, oldie but a goodie Too Faced Concealer. Um, I picked up the shade Light Beige, but I feel like I should have got Vanilla because I do like a brighter under eye. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of my e.l.f. concealer, the Light Sand shade. Just in the inner part because I like a bright under eye. Um, yeah, I don't like using matte, um, concealers because... I feel like under the eyes, you don't want anything matte there because you're going to go in with the setting 
um, powder anyways, but I love a hydrating concealer, so that is the only hydrating product I'm using for this look. Let it dry a little bit, and then go in with the same beauty sponge. Now to give my face some color, I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild um, contour stick in the shade um, Oaks on You. I've been loving this stuff just to like bring color back to the face. It really warms it all up. And then I'm gonna be taking this Flats powder brush. Um, I don't know the name of it, but this is a really good brush if you want to start doing like cream contour. I'll have it linked down below. It's so freaking bomb. I'm um, just going to start to blend it out. So now to set the face, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier Transition Powder. Um, just make sure everything is set under the eyes because you do not want to set any creases. And especially around this area right here, where I get the most oily. Obviously, I already used a um, matte foundation, but really making sure that you set um, the areas of your face that gets um, the most oily with the powder is really going to help it, like, last all day. And then take a little bit of that same powder on a powder brush and just set the rest of the face. But you don't need too much because it is a matte foundation, so most of it did already set itself. So now to bronze the face and some blush. I'm going to be going in with this Benefit Foroscope Highlighting Bronze Blush Palette. I love the Hula Bronzer already. I recently took this on my Vegas trip and it literally has everything in here. You got some blushes, bronzer, and some highlight and you're good to go. So I'm going to bronze using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And then for the blush, I'm going to be taking the uh, number 3 Honeymoon Blush. These two together, so freaking bomb. Just gives you a nice bronze sun-kissed look. Now taking that blush. I love a lot of blush, especially for like the summertime. It just looks so nice when it's like the sun's just beaming on you. Super cute, flushed cheeks and the nose. I'm going to take a little bit of this highlight right here, which is cookie. Just very little because it is super pigmented and I don't want anything too intense. Now I'm going to take this super cute little setting spray. This is the Beauty Creations um, Cucumber Spray. It smells so good. You could use a matte setting spray, but I feel like I use enough matte products, so I want everything just to soak in nicely. And then just let that all soak in. So you could just throw on some lashes and call it a day. This is the look right here. But I do want to do a little bit of eyeshadow, so I'm going to take this Loki Love You palette by... Um, BH Cosmetics. So I'm going to be taking a Morphe M441 brush and taking the shade Maybe Baby and apply that into the crease. I'm also going to take a little bit of the Hula Bronzer using a Morphe M514 brush. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my fave. So pretty much it's for the BH Cosmetic palette and then I want a little bit of shimmer so I'm going to take the shade Cookie and apply that to the inner corner and then pull it a little in to the lid. Okay so this is pretty much it for the eye look but I do want to do a wing liner so I'm going to go in with my Araceli um, Ojos Perfectos um, liquid eyeliner and do a little wing for you guys. So I'm gonna get in the zone and just speed this up because I just get like locked in when I do my wings liner. Okay, so now that we have the wing on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lashes. Um, these are the Beauty Creations Clap Back Lashes. I just wanted something subtle and wispy nothing too dramatic for this look so i'm gonna go ahead and apply these off camera and i'll be right back all right so now that i went ahead and applied the lashes these are such a cute little lash like nothing too dramatic uh, i'm gonna go in with some mascara this is the girl lactic um, lash play duo i love it because it has like a tiny side which i like to use for the lower lash line it's 
a little baby one. So now for the lip combo, I want to go in with some gloss. So I'm going to be taking my Cara Beauty Born With It lip liner and then on top of that, go in with my Biabella Coming Out lip gloss. So yeah, that is all for the Summer Sweat Proof um, makeup look. Literally, these products keep my face on for like hours throughout the day, especially with hot weather, I have tested it. So if you guys are looking for some products that are going to last during like hot weather this is definitely it that is all for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up comment down below what you like to see in the future please subscribe stay blooming and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye Ooh.